always get a letter. Everybody gets emails, of course, texts. I must admit I was texting at uh, small hours myself last night just to remind those uh, who wanted to be here at 7 this morning when we um, launched the live service to be here. Um, um, someone actually accused me of phoning them at like half past 11 last night. I did have a few um, uh, snifters, but I don't recall phoning. I don't phone people at half past 11. That's what texts are for. Politeness, isn't it? Uh, so you're listening to the Grumpies. My name's Stuart Lockhead. Um, we have a competition running today. It's a meal for two in a brand new four-star hotel in Harrington. Now, all you've got to do is phone in to 0131 555 with your name, phone number and location to enter the draw. The winner will be announced by Mike Templeton at half past six in this evening's Drag Time Show, so stay tuned for this competition. That's 0131 We'll for two in a brand new four-star hotel in Paddington. So, I've been looking at the election results, and uh, I think we'll, stay, we'll start local. State of the parties on Edinburgh City Council. I've got this graphic in front of you of me, which I love, I love bringing up pictures on the radio, it really infuriates my co-presenters, they say, what a waste of time that is. Well, gives, at first glance, the, the, the first interesting thing I notice about the new council is that uh, there are 12 SNP members. Now, before this election there was only one, and he was uh, Steve Cardowney, and he'd uh, jump ship from the Labour group, so that's interesting. There are three Greens, I don't know if we had any Greens on the, con the council before. 11 Conservatives, and I suppose the big news, of course, is that the Labour Party is no longer the majority party on the City of Edinburgh Council, it's the Liberal Democrats, and they've got 17. Um, I'll be, be uh, delighted to hear from many of you, my politician friends, colleagues that I know, if they want to bring me up to speed on uh, just who's doing deals with who. Uh, I imagine the Lib Dems are going to lead, they've got 17 councillors, I suppose, to the Labour Party, so that'll be uh, the Reverend Ewan Aitken no longer will be leading. So he had his fun. How long was he leader? He had a few, had a few months. Um, he, looked, he was a very trendy vicar. I know he's not a vicar. He was probably a uh, Church of Scotland um, minister, but he had that trendy vicar look with a, a trendy cross round his neck and a sort of black... He didn't wear a dog collar, did he? He wore a black shirt. More like a... Hmm, I'm thinking. Sounds like the kind of... He looked like the kind of minister that you'd see in a Western, you know, turning up and tombstone to bury the, the dead gunfighters. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> right, so uh, what did you think of Gil Scott Heron? Uh, the revolution will not be televised. Remember that one? I think I used to be a revolutionary, I suppose. Nowadays, I'll just sit for a grump. Mm-hmm. I'll have to do. Here's a nice tune uh, from a Glasgow band, uh, Blue Nile. And after that, we'll look at the detail of the council elections here in Leith. 